Honda's main goal in everything we do is making sure our customers are completely satisfied with the products we make. The last thing a customer would really want to hear is a whistle or a noise that doesn't sound consistent within the cabin. That perception of quality directly affects the Honda and Acura brands. In 2016, Honda decided the idea to build a full-scale wind tunnel that was the best in the world in terms of aeroacoustic and aerodynamics. Prior to this facility, we rented wind tunnels all around the world. We had associates traveling two weeks of every month for eight months on end, doing acoustics in one part of the world, aerodynamics in a different, and racing in a different yet. So at some point, everybody came to the conclusion that we need to have our own facility here in Ohio. Halo's main purpose is to support the Auto Development Center, all of their developments for aerodynamics and aeroacoustics. Halo is unique in the way that the scope of what we can test is pretty wide. We knew BEVs were on the horizon. Kicking off the facility wasn't BEV driven, but the specifications of the tunnel absolutely was. The level acoustic background noise here is the lowest in the world for this type of wind tunnel. Halo is important for EVs because when we drop out the engine and transmission and the exhaust, now the dominant noise is wind noise and road noise. So background noise is critical to air acoustic testing. You want that threshold to be as low as possible. So there's a lot of countermeasures within the facility to help reduce that background noise. There's not another wind tunnel that can go faster, is as quiet, has an array, has a five belt, has a wide belt, has a traverse. So in terms of scope and breadth of the facility, this tunnel's pretty much unmatched. Some of the things we learned testing at these other facilities around the world was a lot of their air acoustic test equipment was standalone devices. Some of it was different software, lots of different devices to, to do air acoustic analysis. Trying to build your story from that, it's complicated, right? Because you have three different softwares and it, it would take you three days to summarize it rather than an hour. So one thing we really focused on when building this facility was to make sure our air acoustic test system was all combined into one system. Honda has a pretty long history working with Siemens in the past. Of course, we looked at other companies, but Siemens seemed to fit our needs very well. And through lots of discussions about specs, at the end of the day, uh, Siemens was able to deliver uh, equipment that met our needs and our expectations, and it was a natural fit. One of the great things about working with Siemens is their service. When we met with the Siemens team, they understood the one tunnel testing. They had a lot of one tunnel test background or experience. Understanding that process goes a long ways in designing the equipment. We use Simpson or Test Lab software to operate all of our air acoustic test tools. With our Siemens system here, we have the external arrays and an interior array that we can use to quickly diagnose any problems, almost real time. The Siemens acoustic arrays allow us to pinpoint problem areas on a vehicle that are creating noise levels that are uncomfortable to the customer. So what they do is they use a, what's called beam forming. We have a microphone in the car and we have the external arrays taking data at the same time, which basically puts kind of like a heat map of where the sound is being created from on the car. And all these systems are acquired simultaneously. And this is very important because permit makes some uh, correlation, some transfer path analysis, some uh, research that is difficult in other wind tunnel if you don't have the simultaneously of acquisition of every microphone. From there, you would take that data, do more of a root cause analysis, and try to understand you know, what is the phenomenon that's causing the noise source inside the cabin. In the past, it usually took an aero and acoustic engineer three or four hours to do that activity, uh, and three or four rolls of tape to specifically pinpoint the noise. So using uh, one of the convolution methods, referencing one of the inside mics compared to the outside array, we're able to pinpoint where the noise is coming from on the outside of the vehicle and fix that problem in a matter of minutes rather than playing the guessing game for hours. One of the big benefits of SimCenter Test Labs is its ability to talk to other types of systems. Previous facilities that we, we rented, there was a lot of back and forth between the, the operator and the person taking acoustic data. There, there was a constant interaction between them, but that also introduces a lot of human error into the situation. Integrating Siemens into our 
wind tunnel control software, Cosworth, allows us to develop sequences for efficient wind tunnel testing. So now we can, within Cosworth, write a detailed test sequence that Siemens can take that information and run it automated. So there's no interaction between the operator and the acoustic system. It's all integrated and the sequence runs and it's finished. Air acoustics are directly influenced by the customer's perception of, of quality and comfort. It's important that we have this facility and this equipment to help us quickly address those noise sources and what the path is, how to fix them, how to countermeasure them, and make the product better for our customer. Customer satisfaction. That is what drives us and that's what makes all of our decisions come together.